my thoughts on Bush situation. Not very happy. But we'll see what happens today. We should know next uh, hour or so, two hours. You're already prepared to losing him to the final game? Nah, I think things happen and you have to be prepared as a team because, uh, you know, that's when you build a team. I think through injuries, uh, situations like that, things can happen. It's unfortunate, but uh, we have to move on. I think we waste a lot of energy thinking about it and we have to prepare about the game. Whatever will be, will be. We have to move on and we'll be ready for it, you know? But still, how much does it affect the strategy planning for a game like this if you have to go without your number one goalie? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's always hard, no? I mean, you, you, it's, it's a guy that, uh, it's a position that you need to uh, to play games. It's not like any other position on the field, you know? I think uh, it's games, it's confidence, it's timing, but uh, there's never an easy road to something, no? You're always going to face adversity. We can sit and worry about it and cry all day, or we can move forward and, uh, and look ahead. And... Uh, you know, and if we do that and we stay focused and we're in the game plan that we have and uh, everybody's ready to play, you know, adversity comes and goes. So I think that's the important thing. But for sure, it's a, it's a key guy that anybody would miss when you're losing a starting goalkeeper. You know, it's difficult. You know, Bush has been fantastic and he pulled some great saves for us while we were in Mexico, kept us in the game. Um, it's going to be difficult to lose him. But at the same time, you know, this is football. These things happen all over the world and I'm sure whoever the management decide to put in there, you know, will be confident behind them. You've mentioned the word attacking a number of times, but do you think with a new keeper it changes the strategy at all? I don't think so, no, it shouldn't be. You know, we're professional football players. You know, if you can't handle and be comfortable to be in one-on-one -on -one situations, you shouldn't be a professional football. You know, this is what's expected of us and it's being confident in yourself individually and also as collectively as a team.